Blessed is the man who walked not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the way of sinner, nor sit in the seat of the scoffer, but his delight in the laws of the Lord, and all his law he meditate days and night. The blessedness of the Lord, I feel, I sense that, was given to mankind. At the same time, God gave us a free will to choose to walk in his way, a way of to be blessed, a way that to be on the righteous path was given to all of us. He is like a tree planted by a stream of water that yields fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. In all he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so, but like chaff that wind drives away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinner in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Intimacy, knowing, knowing the Lord, knowing the Lord and He knows us. When we are close to Him and walk in His way. Outside of God's blessedness, automatically is a curse. So my prayer, my prayer for all of us, that we are the blessed generation who will take not the counsel of the wicked, but the Lord's counsel, who not walk and do the same thing as a sinner, but do as the Lord commands, and who not be mingled and sit and enjoy the mocking the scornful, scoffing, and party and fellowship with those who disdain and look down on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Even though we need to reach them out with His love, but we never sit in the same seat with them because our delight is in the law of the Lord, His Word. And all his word, his law, we meditate day and night. I hope this is how our lifestyle is going to be. I will see you next time.